What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Uh, we have Miss Spidey, my grandma Stola, Rosea over here hanging out near the water dish. I hope you guys can see her. She may be hiding behind a plant. She's been doing that a lot lately. Um, but anyway, today I wanted to talk about seasonal changes since this is a topic that I'm being asked a lot about recently, particularly because we are going through a seasonal change and a lot of people have questions about you know, whenever there is a seasonal change, why is my tarantula not eating or why are they acting like this? And so I thought this would be a really, really important topic to discuss today. And if you are new here, I am so happy that you're here and you stumbled upon my videos. I make videos every single Tuesday for Tarantula Tuesday. So if that interests you, please feel free to subscribe. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for joining me today on Tuesday. So what a lot of people will ask me is, like I said before, either about different feeding responses or non-responses or the fact that their tarantula behavior has changed. And, you know, to be honest, sometimes tarantula's behavior just changes for no reason. Like the inner workings of these guys are really mysterious and there's still so much that we don't know. Um, there could also be things going on like pre-molt or something else that is causing your tarantula either not to eat or have changes in their activity levels. But for a lot of uh, tarantulas, it is going to be a seasonal change that is responsible for that. So that's something that's really important to keep in mind as you try to get used to, especially as a new tarantula owner, as you're trying to get used to like the rhythms of your tarantula and the cycles that they go through. One thing that I think we forget is that even though our tarantulas are in captivity and may perhaps you know, be in a temperature regulated environment now, they still retain a lot of their instincts. As much as some of us would like to believe the opposite, tarantulas cannot be domesticated. They are not like cats or dogs. And so they don't really lose the big instinctual drives. If you let your tarantula out into the wild, even if you've had it for over 10 years, it's probably going to know that it's supposed to hunt. Our tarantulas don't really lose that stuff. In my personal experience, I really do believe that tarantulas do really keep a lot of their connection to the outdoors or that they're just sensitive to what's going on in the environment outside or certain, certain rhythms of the in nature, I guess, because um, I think that my tarantula's behavior absolutely changes and it's very, very predictable with the seasonal cycles of their environment. I think the biggest uh, differences for tarantulas when they're going through seasonal shifts are obviously the feeding responses and then the changes in activities and maybe the levels of isolation. One way that I've personally noticed and I think many others have is that my tarantulas definitely every single year slow down their feeding responses at the same time. Now, Spidey does fast a lot anyway. She will usually be fasting, um, but her appetite or lack of appetite is incredibly predictable as soon as it starts getting cold. And Blinky, my little Arizona blonde sling, who is not in this clip right now, um, their feeding responses are a bit more regular, but they also very much lose interest when it gets cold. I think that this might be because they, they sense the temperatures dropping in the house as the outside temperature drops and that causes their metabolisms to slow down. I'm not really sure if tarantulas can feel the cold the way that like we as humans can or maybe cats or dogs can um, because they cannot regulate their temperature and they are also, they are not warm blooded like we are. But I do think that they can sense it in some ways. And another thing I've noticed that is even if I keep the temperature in the house pretty warm so that they don't feel the cold or that, you know, maybe I can kind of mimic a warmer environment because um, I'm somebody who's always cold, so I like it warm in the house. Um, they still slow down. So I think that it's more than just the temperature dropping. I'm wondering if perhaps they actually sense that like every six months the temperature changes. Like maybe do they have some sort of I don't know, cyclic sense of time. I don't know. Um, I have to do more research on that, but I would say that tarantulas definitely sense the season and that is what can cause your tarantula to slow down their eating responses if you live in a place where it's colder. Maybe tarantulas have some sort of biological rhythm that just alerts them to know that like, oh, hey, it's spring. And then they eventually do sense that the house is getting warmer and that thing that um, we don't need artificial heat anymore. So I, I definitely noticed that as soon as spring comes around, they are hungry again. <laughs> 
But another thing that's really obvious is that my tarantulas get very, very slow in the winter and fall. Um, you know, sometimes if you have a tarantula that fasts, especially like Spidey, the winter fasting won't be that obvious because the spider is always fasting, but the activity levels are definitely noticeable. A lot of times I get questions from tarantula owners like, my spider hasn't moved. Um, and one of the things is like, of course, checking out other things with the spider, but also like, is it cold where you live? Because my tarantulas slow down so much. I mean, tarantulas have a reputation of being pet rocks anyway, especially if you have one like my G. rosea, but they get even slower when it is cold. Again, I think this is because their metabolism slow down and everything just slows down. But even Blinky, who is that Arizona blonde sling, Usually they are very, very active when it's warm. They will always be messing around with their water dish or digging holes or tunnels. They're very, very active. But even with them, once it gets to be fall and then winter, they go underground and they stay there for months. Like there's no sign of life. They <laughs> want nothing to do with whatever is going on. I wonder if their tunnels and their being under the dirt even keeps them warm. I don't think so because they their bodies can't really absorb warmth like ours can, but um, it's fascinating. So they will totally be underground for the whole winter and then they'll finally surface when it gets to being a little warmer. Um, right now they, they were forced to surface because I had to clean their tank. and. Uh, but now that it's warmer and it's spring here, they have been on their surface for now a few weeks and they've been busy. So um, that is also really, really cool. So they're more active and so is Spidey. Like Spidey, while she stays on the surface because she doesn't really do the digging and the fossorial behavior that Blinky does, um, she will usually in the winter just stay in one spot for days, not move at all. And then when it gets warmer, she'll be exploring, she'll be uh, going through all the different areas of her tank. Um, so that is really, really cool. Um, I love spring and summer just because they're more active and there's so much more behavior to observe. But yeah, I want you to know that like if your tarantula isn't moving around a lot or has stopped eating and they're not in pre that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. There might be other explanations like a seasonal shift or if your tarantula um, all of a sudden becomes more hungry or they have a um, or they're a lot more active think about what's going on in the environment these are still animals they are still tuned in in some way to the world around them so I share my experiences just because um, I do not want tarantula owners especially newer ones to be worried about their spiders I mean of course there are things that happen tarantulas do get sick things can be wrong but a lot of the time, the tarantulas are just doing what tarantulas do. And sometimes I think as humans, um, we can be a little bit too meddling in their lives. And a lot of times they're really just fine if we leave them alone and just enjoy them from afar while they you know, do their spider stuff. You know, sometimes we have to remember that animals and creatures, even like tarantula and insects, have a different type of intelligence and they are a lot more tuned into their instincts than we are. And so I imagine they probably sense a lot more from their environment than we do because you know, we are so all in our heads and in our, our stress and distractions, but they really live in the present. Um, they have different types of, I guess, uh, feelers than we do. Um, and so we do not need to intervene as often as we think we do. Um, so I hope that that was helpful. Um, I hope that this was useful too, because I know that like for many of us, we're going through the seasonal shift and we might notice that our pets are acting different. And you know, it's, it's just like humans. A lot of us, we deal with like seasonal affective disorder or greater depression or laziness over the winter. We go into hibernation mode. It's the same. You know, I think we all kind of slow down. And now that it's warmer, people will go out more, um, hopefully wearing your masks. <laughs> and people are just into being more active, into taking walks. Um, some of us do get a little bit of relief from that seasonal affective disorder. I know I do. And uh, just start to feel a little bit better. So I hope this was helpful and helps you to stress a little bit less about different things that you're seeing in your tarantulas. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please share if you've noticed other seasonal shifts in your tarantulas. I would love to hear about them. Like I said, the behavioral stuff and the feeding responses are the biggest things I've noticed. But if you have noticed other things, I'd love to hear about it. And guys, if you are looking for um, more tarantula info, I do have tons of videos on here that I've done. And I also have a tarantula guide, which you can find a link to in the description below as well as like some other links as far as tank decor, um, tarantula t-shirts I've made, tarantula products I'm doing. Okay, so if any of that is an interest to you, feel free to check out my description links. And I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care. Bye guys.